Hello guys, welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I'm Dr. Carol. Today we shall learn about the Rostow's five stages of growth and its criticism. In this lecture, we shall discuss the Rostow's five stages of growth. That number one is traditional society, precondition to take off, take off stage, drive to maturity and age of high mass of consumption and what the criticism has been made on Rostow's definition of five stages of growth. An American economist, the Watt Richman Rostow, in 1960 presented the model of economic growth that is known as historical model of economic growth. This model suggests that the country may be in any one of the stage during growth process. Number one, traditional society, precondition to take off, country might be under take off, country might be in the drive to maturity stage or age of high mass of consumption. So, Rostov defined that country during development process might be in these five stages. So, what is the traditional society and what are the characteristics of this stage? In this stage, economy is primary sector and is mostly dependent on the agriculture, hunting, fishing and the people are engaged in gathering food for wild animals. The common characteristics of this traditional society are there is a limited production, investment share is less than 5% of total national income, regional and local trade only tax place, there is a barter system and lack of individual mobility, rigid society in terms of social norm and culture. These are the common characteristics of the traditional society. And the second stage is precondition to take off. During this stage, economic changes occur in the society. The common features are that the demand for raw material during precondition to take off increases. Export of cash crop rises. Investments are made in irrigation, ports and canals. Advanced technologies are used in the economy. Saving and investments increases. Changes in social structure, individual mobility and other economic interest and development program lead the society near takeoff stage. And third stage is the takeoff stage. The common feature of takeoff stage are that increase in urbanization, primary sector shift towards secondary sector as a result, the secondary products production increases, the productive investment rises from 5 to over 10 percent of national income and high rate of growth is attained in the economy during takeoff. Profits are reinvested. Fiscal and monetary measures work effectively. The ratio of loanable funds towards the industrial sector increases. The fourth stage is drive to maturity. This is the period of self-sustained growth. During this stage, a large investments are made on the schools, universities, development of transportation, infrastructures and hospitals. Multiple industries expands and industrial base rises and import substitutes are preferred to produce and market size expands and exports in terms of new goods and services increases. Real wages increases during this phase of the drive to maturity and the reduction in poverty is seen. The emerging economies of places like China and Argentina are in the stage of drive to maturity. The age of high mass of consumption, this is the fifth stage of economic growth. During this stage of development and growth, the per capita income rises. Industrial base dominates the economy and the share of primary sector towards GDP decline. So, the people working in agriculture sector shift towards the secondary sector, manufacturing sector. Automobile consumption increases and production of luxurious goods for upper class increases. Concentration is given on key military and security issues, equality welfare issues. 
the USA, UK and most Western European countries are in this stage 5. What criticism has been made on Rostro's stages of growth or what are the weaknesses of this economic growth model? This theory, the Rostro's stages of growth, he has attempted to fit all the countries into Western or European frame model. But this theory fails to consider the dualistic economies. First condition of traditional society is not necessary because the USA, Canada, Australia and New Zealand were not traditional when they were born. The precondition to take off and take off stages are overlapping and the precondition phase is not necessary before the take off stage. This model fails to explain the time period for each stage. This theory fails to consider the variation among countries and there is business in the theory. This theory assumes that each country is politically and economically free. That is not the real cases. According to Rostow's model, growth is automatic by time after each stage. But Kuznet is opponent of this idea. And he is of opinion that there is need for push always. So this is all about the Rostos five stages of growth. I hope it would be clear to all of you. If you have any query or suggestions, please let me know in comment box. Thanks for watching.